In this video, we're diving deep into the character of Kingpin from the Spider-Verse movies. We're gonna take a closer look at who he is, his backstory, and what makes him such a complex figure, so let's jump right in. At one point in his life, he took charge of Fisk Industries, a hugely successful and influential company. On the surface, this was a great achievement. Being the leader of such a powerful company gave him a lot of authority, and to many people, he seemed like a respectable figure. However, that was just one side of his life. He had two faces, one as the head of Fisk Industries, a man who appeared to be a symbol of success and power, but the other side of him was far darker. He wasn't just a businessman, he was also a major crime lord, known as Kingpin, who controlled much of the criminal underworld. This duality is what makes his character so intriguing, he could charm and lead in the public eye while ruthlessly running criminal operations behind the scenes. But even with all that power and control, his life wasn't just about crime. He fell in love with a woman named Vanessa. His love for her was deep and genuine, and together they had a son named Richard. This relationship shows a more personal side of Kingpin, a man who wasn't just about crime and corruption but who had a family he cared about deeply. And naturally, with the kind of life he was leading, nothing good was going to come out of it for him or his family. His criminal activities kept catching the attention of Spider-Man. In fact, over the years, Kingpin became one of Spider-Man's most regular enemies, battling him repeatedly for over a decade. It's wild to think that for 10 years, Spider-Man kept running into Kingpin, always having to deal with the chaos and destruction he was causing. But eventually, things took a tragic turn. During one of their intense brutal battles, his wife Vanessa and his son Richard happened to see what was really going on. They found him in the middle of a violent fight with Spider-Man, and in that moment, everything changed. Up until then, Vanessa may have known some things about her husband's dark side, but seeing him actually attacking Spider-Man, someone who was trying to protect the city, was a wake-up call. It was a huge shock for her. In that instant, she realized the man she loved wasn't just running some shady business dealings, he was actively hurting the hero that people relied on to keep them safe. Horrified by what she witnessed, Vanessa didn't waste any time. She grabbed their son, rushed to the car, and took off. She was so desperate to get away from Kingpin and the life he dragged them into that she wasn't paying attention to the road. In her panic, she drove recklessly, and tragically, the car crashed. Both Vanessa and Richard were killed in the accident, leaving Kingpin completely devastated. This loss crushed him. He was left heartbroken and consumed by guilt, realizing that his actions had led to the death of the two people he cared about the most in the world. Eventually, he turned to science, specifically to the research and development company called Alchemax. The head of this company was Dr. Olivia Octavius, a brilliant yet dangerous mind. Kingpin started to funnel his money and resources into Alchemax, hoping their advanced technology could help him achieve his goal. But he didn't stop there. He also hired a whole roster of supervillains to work for him and make sure his plans were carried out. Let's talk about the crew he assembled. He had Green Goblin, Prowler, Scorpion, and Tombstone all on his payroll, acting as his reinforcements and muscle. These villains were a big part of his operations, and each one played their role in supporting Kingpin's new project. It's clear that even though he was still grieving, his power and influence in the criminal world hadn't faded. What he really wanted from Alchemax was to build a device capable of bringing his family back. This is where the Super Collider comes into play. Kingpin believed that this machine could pull versions of Vanessa and Richard from other dimensions, allowing him to replace the ones he lost. This desperation to undo his personal tragedy was the driving force behind the chaos that unfolds in Into the Spider-Verse. The Super Collider caused all kinds of havoc, but he didn't care about that at all. He was willing to do anything to be reunited with his family, even if it meant tearing open the fabric of reality to get them back. In conclusion, his story in the Spider-Verse movies is a clear example of how dangerous unchecked ambition and power can be. As both the head of Fisk Industries and a feared crime lord, Kingpin didn't hesitate to use manipulation, violence, and crime to get what he wanted. His desire to control everything around him, including his family's fate, 
led him to cross every line. Instead of accepting responsibility for his actions or the loss of his family, he doubled down on his criminal activities, involving dangerous science and hiring ruthless supervillains to enforce his will. While his grief over losing Vanessa and Richard may have fueled his obsession, it doesn't excuse the chaos and destruction he caused. His willingness to endanger countless lives and disrupt entire dimensions just to satisfy his own selfish needs shows his true nature, ruthless, driven, and uncaring about the consequences. In the final showdown, Miles uses the shoulder touch technique, which honestly was hilarious and a perfect moment to ultimately defeat Kingpin. Hey. <laughs>